Question number 18, Mr Speaker. Uh, DEFRA has not undertaken any recent assessments of the effectiveness of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. The next opportunity to examine the extent to which the Convention is delivering objectives of its strategic plan will be the CITES Standing Committee in August. Jay Swinson. I thank the Minister for that reply. He may be aware of the recent cross-border crackdown on illegal wildlife smuggling in Central Africa, which led to arrests and the seizure of 150 kilograms of ivory, 1,000 African grey parrots, 17 turtle shells, 7 leopard skins, 2 lion skins and a rather grisly haul of ape heads. This successful operation was coordinated by Last Great Ape, a dedicated NGO. What is DEFRA doing with ministerial colleagues to ensure that such civil society organisations vital to this work are supported by DFID funding and the backup of ambassadors making it clear that our endangered species must be protected? Well, I applaud uh, the, the, my honourable friend for her commitment to this, uh, and I certainly will work with uh, other colleagues in departments such as DFID to make sure that we are coordinating the, the great deal of work that we're doing to sponsor schemes such as I described earlier that crack down on poaching. What we do have to understand is that the real problem is the end user. And we can have our house in order here uh, and our wildlife crime unit does wonderful work supporting some of the endeavours that she talked about. But ultimately we've got to look at the, uh, those that believe that these uh, products are useful in medicine terms and the, effect that, and the use of ivory in, for ornaments. And we have to deal with that because that is where the problem is really coming from. So I want to slip in.